this is a point on the ground okay from here the angle of elevation of a tower so if this is the tower let's say c and d this is the tower right the angle of elevation from the point this point on the ground to the top of tower will be this one and this is g given to you as 60 degree right and from the same point where you measured from where the angle of elevation from where the angle of elevation was 60 degree then at a point from another point 10 meter vertically above the first so if this is the first point then 10 meter vertically above let's say this is the second point p okay and the distance between ap is 10 right ap is equal to 10 meter then from this second point the angle of elevation for the same top of the tower is given to you as 30 degree right now we need to find the height of the tower so students here since ap is 10 then definitely the length of let's say dl dl is also equal to 10 isn't it dl will be 10 and let's say cl is x right then tower length tower height that is equal to cd is equal to x plus 10 is what that we need to calculate right so just take the first triangle ADC in triangle ADC tan of 60 degree can be written as tower height CD by AD or AD can be equated as CD by tan 60 and CD is X plus 10 so X plus 10 by tan 60 which is root 3 is the value of AD similarly you now, can consider triangle PLC in triangle PLC AD is calculated as root 3x now equate the value of AD to find out the value of X that is equal to 5 meter now you can see the tower height is basically 5 plus 10 that is X plus 10 which is 15 meter right this is 5 this is 10 so total 15 meter is the tower height which is